Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at TB2Podcast. Check out the website at thebacktwo.com and let's get right into it. All right, so Big Reese has gone and got himself a big, big trim. Well, you came back with one, so I had to respond. Obviously, come on, but you've got a trim. Yeah. And so for 10 likes, <laughs> I'll upload the trim on our Twitter. At TB2 podcast. Yeah, that's really exposing. Ten likes. That's all you gotta get. <laughs> and I'm dropping the trim. But the back two isn't about well, the back two could be about anything, but normally it's about Premier League football. Ten <laughs> ten likes. <laughs> so ten no likes. place better to start than the Amex Stadium. Early kickoff, twelve thirty. Brighton versus Chelsea. Chelsea sitting in fourth. Whoa, let's all laugh at Chelsea for a bit. Andy Carroll or Peter Cratch? I mean, Carroll's probably a bit more physical, but Crouch has got the robot, so. Can you imagine having Alvaro Morata in your team? Mm. Batshuayi, and you're still out here trying to get Carroll or Crouch, and you're the champions of England. Well, supposedly Conte's just taking the piss and he's going to just... Leave when the window shuts. Just leave him with Crouch and Carol. What? <laughs> now? This is what I've seen on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you know. At Football Funnies. So <laughs> Could have just been banned. And do you know what else you can see on Twitter? If we get to 10 <laughs> likes, we'll get Reese's magnificent trim. Or is it? Don't you just want to find out what it looks like? 10 likes. So <laughs> Make another account. Subscribe while you're at it. Come on. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, Chelsea. Can't buy a win. At the moment. How many draws have they got? Two. But they also drew against... Uh, Arsenal and Norwich. Yeah. And drew Norwich. against Norwich again. Uh, but won it on, on pens. pens. But they scored a goal, uh, finally. I, I think they went three games without scoring a goal or some shit. Two fact, sendings up. Sending off. It was banter. Um, Morata. Joke man. Absolute clown. He's getting booked for diving. And then he's screaming at the referee. Yeah. And the referee's like, fuck this shit. You're, You're off, mate. See you later. And Pedro got done for diving as well, wasn't it? Yeah. See you later. The VAR, the VAR's, the VAR, the shocker, had the shocker, shocker in that game. Yeah. Shiro was not happy. But, um, yeah, Chelsea, they've dropped down to fourth place. They've been, they've allowed Liverpool to, to leapfrog them by one goal on goal difference. <laughs> but, are the wheels coming off of that Chelsea, Chelsea bus? I think so. Hazard's getting taken off at random times. Ruining yeah. fantasies. Um, they just FPL need to get, is what yeah, I meant. They just need to get rid of this free fantasies. <laughs> they need to just get rid of this free man midfield. Ten likes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't refer Buki back to Buki Yuku needs to leave. <laughs> oh. Leave Buki Yuku alone. Now, Tom, actually. Shout out to Tom. Oi, come on. Tom, shout out again. Get everyone follow Tom, yeah? You'll see Tom, yeah? Head over to TV2 Podcast on Twitter, yeah? And you'll see Tom. Follow him. I'm trying to... My guy. Shout out again. Come on. He Ten calls likes. Paul Merson. Tim Merson. That's Tim Merson? Tim Merson. It got a bit... All right, so yeah. my guy Tom had a little <laughs> bit... I mean, a bit of a blunder there <laughs> from my guy Tom. But is Reese's Trim a bit of a blunder? You can find that out by getting 10 likes on the video <laughs> cheeky sport so uh, <laughs> so who starts because Batchway was supposedly terrible in the game he did score but uh, yeah he, was, he wasn't score. great uh, he scored yeah he scored and then he, he looked he looked better after he'd scored he, he's looked like, he looks like a player who's, um, who's lacking confidence um, Kennedy dirty dirty Meg mm, yeah, dirty that. Meg Flip flat. dirty absolutely filthy uh, the, Brazil, the Brazilian if Batchway starts it doesn't start he has to basically, he has to leave the club if you're Pedro and Morata are suspended. Or is he going to get... Uh, wouldn't be surprised if he went Hazard and Willian. That's horrible. And with a three-man midfield. I think you'll we'll have to go to the 3-4-3. Three, three. Pedro and Morata are both out. He's, he's going to have to play Michi and Willian and, I don't know, throw Kennedy out there or some shit. Something else on the left. I don't know. Hazard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or their best, I, I, oh, thought, oh, I said, I will throw their best player onto the pitch. <laughs> You see what I mean? You could have just <laughs> paused it and then, and then taken it out, but you always want to call me out on this shit. But this trim's rotten. Yeah, 10 likes and I'll drop it. 
But yeah, and then you put fucking Kante with uh, Fabregas. Surely should that those two should be able to do it. Or even Ryan. drink water you could throw in. Or is he in? Is Ross fit? I think he. I don't think he's fully back yet. Ah, oh, fair enough. I would love to have seen Ross. Ross playing a two with N'Golo Kante. That could get a bit mad. I, I think, think Ross I think, is leaving him for dirt. I think it's silly. I don't. I don't see why. You got guys that loft his cheek out on loan. On loan, and you hear Ross signing Ross Barkley. I don't. They sold Chalabar as well. It's bollocks. <laughs> it's bollocks. Whatever. But I've, Brighton, yeah. making big signings. <laughs> the PSV, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah Lockadia from a PSV. He's a little... FM gem, is it? Ish, ish, ish. He was all right. Very happy. He was all right, but I liked him because he was, he was black. And oh, yeah. Where am I going with this? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Doing it for the Why team. Why are we recording this podcast? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My team, did you say? The team. Oh, I'll have to go back and check that. <laughs> oh, I might have said Fucking that. silly! <laughs> but yeah, Brighton are, cut, are sitting down in 16th place. They've lost two of the last four games. They've won one in five. And they handed uh, foot in... West Brom, the first win in 22 games. It's something. 20 it's Mazza. plus. I it's think. a Mazza. Big Pardew gets his first win. Um, they're not looking great. They're in a wee bit of trouble. They're three points clear of Stoke, who are, who are 18th. But these type of games aren't the games where they're going to expect to get anything, I think, really. Yeah, Brighton have conceded the most goals from set pieces in the league. But does that seem like an area Chelsea are going to hit them? Probably not. I think they'll be suited to be sitting deep yeah. and just try and counter-attack. They've got uh, Izquierdo with the pace. Glenn Murray can put it in the net, so let's see what happens. But I think Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea, too many draws. Mourinho's got to move out of Conte's head soon enough, I think... Uh, <laughs> I've got to go for a Chelsea win. Yeah, I'll go for a Chelsea win. They've got to put they've got to put an end to it, and especially with uh, Spurs going to Everton, uh, Spurs going to Southampton, a Spurs win puts them level. Yeah, yeah. Or one if a, a draw won't be good enough for yeah. Chelsea either, really. But we move on to the bottle jobs of the league. They're currently sitting in six. Wait, who? Oh, Arsenal! <laughs> Arsenal! Arsenal! They've got a, a visit from Roy. And they've still got Sanchez. Is he going to start? I can't see him start. I can't I, see him starting. Putting him in the squad scene. To leave him out of the squad last, last week when you're losing to Bournemouth. Do you think Mkhitaryan is stalling it? You think he's, <laughs> this I guy, think he does This guy not. just driving into United. He's moody as fuck, man. <laughs> this guy doesn't want to leave. He, I don't think he cares about leaving. He just doesn't want to end up at Arsenal, man. It's a dark place, man. He's been there six. He might, <laughs> he's been six. <laughs> imagine. Imagine. You're out here doing Dortmund, all this stuff, playing well. 20 plus assists in a Bundesliga season. Bundesliga play of the year. You come to Manchester United and they're telling you, look, we're in the Europa League this year, but next year we'll be, get, we'll, we'll, we'll be the Champions League. He experiences the, the group of the Champions League and now he's back. Hmm. Back in the Europa League. And under Wenger. To win it, not, probably not even win it back to back because they're going to bottle it. Before, he used to look to his left and see Martial. Now he's going to see Iwobi. Looks behind and sees Pogba. Now he's going to see Aladu Xhaka. <laughs> Fuck you know. Yeah, they got Super Jack, who's getting injured soon. <laughs> Defo man, he'd probably get. He'll probably get the get the contract. Get the be named the new captain and break his leg. <laughs> Duh. Or something like ligament or something yeah. like some long term injury. Some long cheeky sport. Some long term <laughs> injury, man. Yeah, joke club. We're gonna get Aubameyang. We're gonna get Mkhitaryan. No, you're not. Yeah. I'll say it on the podcast again. You're recalling Perez, and that's <laughs> it. You'll get Mickey probably, maybe. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, I'm. I'm but a, we I'm, just have to pay cash. I'm not too bothered. Yeah, as long as long as United get Alexis. If United get Alexis, I'll be happy. I'm. I'm not complaining how they do it. It's not my. It's not my cash. They get more than enough as it is. Breaking down. But anyway, yeah, Arsenal is shit. Um, I've said a draw for this game, but you thought it was either going to be a basic Arsenal, like 1-0, 2 win, or yeah. you thought Crystal Palace were going to pull out the bag. That's what, that's, that's what I'm feeling. I, I don't, I don't, winners for I don't see a draw. Um, but I, yeah, I, I see Arsenal either bouncing back confidently or... Zaha to Millie Rock at the Emirates. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. If, if that happened... Twice. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> Lionel Linga does it, and now Wilfie. My gosh, I'd love it. I'd love it if he did that. I'd love it if he did that. Um, Keegan-esque. Yeah, straight in. 
Um, but yeah, I'm I'm leaning towards. Fuck it. Palace win. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. And now, you were twelfth. Palace, Palace, yeah. Palace are twelfth. By the way. <laughs> <If you were. laughs> Um, back to back wins for them as well. They're they're in better form than um, than Arsenal. Two wins, two draws, and the loss. Arsenal with one win, three draws, and the loss. Um, now we go to. Uh, oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did our <laughs> lol. <laughs> Turf Moor. Oh no. We're going there. Good old Man United. Second in the league. Burnley are seventh, but their form no win in five. Three of them being losses. <laughs> Glasses, man. <laughs> Three of them being losses. Um, we haven't lost a game in the last five of them. Three draws are not looking good. But we're back on the way up. Yeah, we're looking good again. Um, com- comfortable performance. A comfortable win against Stoke uh, in yeah, for the most part. Rob the bomb back amongst the goals. Yeah. Martial looking excellent. Uh, Paul Pogba doing what Paul Pogba does and how everyone seems to be you know, acknowledging it now because... Yeah, he's actually good now. Yeah, you know, but he's been doing that. Just He was doing that last year, but Ibra was just not converting. Yeah, the numbers, he wasn't getting the numbers. He wasn't yeah. getting the basic stats that you the people wanted on Twitter. And when, you get, when you've got a striker that's converting one in seven, we saw the flipping YouTube vid where the guy was just doing pingers mm. and Ibra was just missing on purpose. <laughs> I don't know what bonus he had. Miss five chances and get 10k. I, I, don't, I don't know where it was. And they kind of said that the imminent arrive of Sanchez, even if he's not playing, it will kind of add a boost to the squad. So hopefully we see positive performances from the players. I'd like to shout out Jesse Lingard because I think his takeover was excellent. Yeah, I think it's one of the best takeovers I've I've seen of a United <laughs> lad on Instagram. It was just full, it was full of bants, a happy lad, a local lad, and uh, yeah, my guy Jesse. <laughs> Cheeky sport. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah um, he was doing the bands, wasn't he? With the Sanchez medical. Oh yeah, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Had us all tricked for a second. I think I think we'll go there. And we'll, we'll 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 apply more misery onto Burnley. They don't look great. They're gagging for a win though, but I don't think I don't see it. The gap is twelve points. Yeah, and we really can't afford to drop points here because even it, it seems like well we have been basically in second the whole time. I think Chelsea. It's a week. Yeah. Yeah, two, for one week, yeah. Two max. But Liverpool and Chelsea and even Spurs are getting close. And Yeah, and they've got favor- favourable fixtures, to be honest. Liverpool going to Swansea, Chelsea going to Brighton and Spurs going to Southampton. Yeah, like we might not win the title, but we want to be solid. Hey, the gap's been close there. to 12. We'll see what happens. We man. go to the empty head and that, that, that gap's being close to nine. <sighs> yeah? It's, back it's on. on. It's, it's on. It's footing on. And Burnley's last result. <laughs> yeah. It's a one that lost to Palace. Yeah. Didn't really create much. Of Sacco's goal was a bit. Now, don't quote me on this because I'm not the stat man. Yep. But I saw something saying that when Burnley have gone behind in the Premier League, they've never, they've never won a game. They've never won never. the game after, 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 going, after going behind. And what's this, their third season in the Premier League? Yeah. Well, it's in short yeah, yeah. it's time. Statman Kev. <sighs> Get in the comments yeah. <laughs> and let me know if I'm right. Ten likes, don't or forget. if he's wrong. <laughs> Ten <laughs> likes to see this trim. Yeah? Well in. Burnley United. Yeah, United. We're not going to put a score prediction, you just never know. Sometimes we have... With four 0 FC and sometimes we just like Jose likes to grind it out. I think it'll be difficult though. Um, I think an early goal is crucial. Yeah, because if it gets to sixty, if I'm worried, can't forget what happened at Old Trafford as well. Of course, they went two 0 up. Yeah, uh, some sensational free to... kick and whatnot, and Leno had to had to get us out of trouble. But I am confident of a victory. I am confident of a victory. I think I think we found we found the formation. Oh, should I say Jose has, has accepted yeah. that the team plays better with a four three three, and I hope that we stick to it and um, he plays it because if it's a four two three one, we're in the shit. <laughs> damn straight. Although in the four two three one, he used to. I don't forget. We just played in garden and matter. I think if he wants to change back, when you play the four two three one with Matter and uh, Lingard and Martial. Mm. 
it's so easy for one of them to to dr- Matt or Lingard to drop into a three, yeah, and then see so the system can switch so easily. So sometimes it might work. What I'm gonna say is Matt has signed a thing. Yeah, United offer him that thing. And Mata signed the thing. That's all I'm saying. Because I'll say it again. If Alexis comes, I, 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 that all that means is Mata's moving from one position to another. And the another is not the bench. <laughs> United win. United win. Um, Everton, uh, West Brom. West Brom, obviously, oh we said, gosh. got there. <laughs> What's happened to the league, man? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone to shit. West Brom did get their <laughs> first win in ages. Is it their first win? It must be... Near there, like first win of the who how Everton. Many, how many games have West Brom won? Three, three, and it's what their first win. It must have been all comps then when it was saying first win. In. So they hadn't won since match day two, so twenty one games. Isn't it? <laughs> Math. <laughs> That's like... Yeah, twenty one games. So. But Everton just bought Theo Walcott. Good signing? I hope so. 20 mil's not too bad. I'm hoping that it's Rooney-esque. Um, a new lease of life. Yeah. yeah. He'd gone quite stale. Borderline dead. Do you at, think he needs a run Arsenal. though? Because I think most players need a run, obviously. But... Yeah, I, th- I think it'll be a Rooney type thing where he gets a run. You know, the fans will be behind him. Of course, yeah. there won't be no Wally Walcott nonsense. It's a new signing and whatnot. 20 mil. Um, he'll add something different, quote unquote, to Everton. And I think he'll be looking to prove himself. I think he'll do all right, though. I think he'll have at least a good start there. He might peter off to, towards the end, but yeah. I think he'll have a good start there. And Balassi and Walcott on wings. My uh, guy, YB. Yeah. YB, Theo, Tosson. <sighs> Wazza in the hole. It's all... Where does Sigurdsson go? Oh, yeah, he's been. He plays like left mid now, doesn't he? They've got. They've got, they've got players. Isn't they? They've got a decent side, Everton. They've got a decent side, Everton, and that's why they're all the way up at night with uh, with Big Sam. But they're in. They're in some poor form themselves. Three straight L's uh, for Big Sam's side. Losing at Bournemouth, losing at United, and then well, getting bullied by Everton. Um, so Tottenham. yeah, uh, uh, Tottenham. Yeah. So where is it? It's at Goodison Park. I can't see um, Everton not picking up a win, even though West, they've been in terrible form and West Brom did manage to win. Well, nearly all of their wins... <laughs> nearly all of their wins have come at home. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say an Everton win. Yeah. I think Big Sam... Defense, he said he wants to be more uh, boring after they lost 4-0. So I think they'll be defensively solid. And when you've got attacking players like Balassi... Um, Hopefully, Tossin, it seems to be good. And Fear Walcott, I think that'll cause West Brom some problems. Get on the Acker. <laughs> uh, next one, uh, Le- yeah. <laughs> Leicester Watford. Meh. Mid table madness. Eighth versus tenth. Leicester. Well, they suppose you put a very good performance in. Bully Chelsea. Against Chelsea. Um, Bully Chelsea at the bridge. Did go down to 10 men and managed to. Keep it nil nil for the last fifteen minutes. Whereas Watford, <laughs> terrible form. Really lucky to get a draw. Um, yeah, Decore handballing it into the back of the net. I mean, since game week thirteen, Watford have been really poor. One win, or yeah, one win since game week uh, thirteen. Look at it. losing to Palace, losing to Huddersfield, losing to Brighton. Beating Leicester. Um, Swansea. <laughs> the L's this team yeah. have taken is a bit... What's the win? Newcastle. Where's the Arsenal one? Fucking hell, it's the Kahunas. It's the Kahunas. I think it was when Marco Silva got way too much praise from the media. He was obviously doing a good job, but it seems like ever since that happened, and Kahunas... Yeah, well, since it's happened, what? They've won... Three games in, what's that? Fifteen games. Yeah, that's compared to the form they were showing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they had a record when they were scoring three got three away goals or, or two away goals, and mm. 
in every game they were playing. They're sitting in mid table in tenth place. Both teams in meh type of form. A draw sounds like the safe bet, but I'm going to go for a Leicester win. Yeah. I think. Mares looks on it. It's the January transfer window. I'm sorry you know. for this guy. He, well, he's never going to leave. Claude Perel said he's worth a hundred million. Yeah. <laughs> and, with, <laughs> and Kasper Schmeichel's coming out with saying the chairman's. He's a stubborn man. Here's a good question. Casper or Hugo? In terms of who's a better keeper or yeah, just yeah. who's more... He's more of a fraud. <laughs> yeah, he's more of a fraud. He's more of a fraud. I think it's got to be Hugo because he is rated highly. His yeah. name gets thrown about way too much. David De Gea, Courtois, Lloris. Yeah. It's Casper Michael's just free kicks he has a problem with. Or some of the... Yeah, free kicks, definitely. Yeah. He's not a bad keeper, but to be honest, apart from obviously Leicester winning the league, he plays for Leicester City. And Tottenham is supposed to be a big team now. Oh, yeah. Challenging for the title. Hugo needs to stop letting in near post goals all the time. <laughs> I'm flapping at it. Get him out of your fantasy is all I'd say. Yeah, and he's got illness. I don't care. It's <laughs> January. Apparently. Yeah, that flu's you're, mad, you know. You're a professional footballer, come on. Yeah, I mean, that's, that flu's been a bit mad. It's been taking people out. <laughs> Dead. Why are you laughing? Ten lights, people, for this cold motherfucker. <laughs> so we go. I'm going for a Leicester win. What are you saying? Yeah, I think Leicester will edge it. I think it'll be a dead game, but Leicester will edge it. And hopefully, Vardy will finally score. For who? Hopefully for me. For, oh, for the me. FPL. Well, hopefully Richarlison and Decore get on the score sheet. I can't seem to get these fucking idiots out. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, dear. And when you thought this preview couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Two Stoke, weeks in a row. Stoke, <laughs> so dead. Paul Lambert's debut. Um, well, his name's not Sanchez, but Sanchez has left the club. So he's <laughs> definitely going to United. The assistant manager has left. He left? He has left Stoke. <laughs> he's going to United. Yeah. Huddersfield, I feel like, yeah, their last game, 4-1 to West Ham at home. To David Moore's masterclass. Mm. Um, but Stoke have obviously been in terrible form. Mark, she's getting the sack. It's a huge game. Um, Four points between the two teams. Big six-point of relegation. Um, Huddersfield have relied mo- mostly on their home form this season. Um and normally when a new manager comes in, it gives a bit of... It's a boost. Um, but this is Paul Lambert we're talking about. Mm. Who's he really boosting? But <laughs> I'm I'm going to go for a Stoke win, I think. they've got Stoke have got good players. It just hasn't been clicking for, that, for them this season. Yeah, I think Stoke will win. I think Stoke will win. Come on, Shaqiri. FBL. <laughs> Fucking hell. Who's next? West Ham versus Bournemouth. I think this will be a goal, a goal fest. I really, really do. I think West Ham will edge it. I think, I think West Ham will win four two. Yeah, David Moyes is normally quite. He probably relies on being solidly defensive. Um, uh, Big but Bournemouth, yeah, Scott. four and three. <laughs> Deep. <laughs> He's got four and three. Now, the system, they're playing a three-back at the off, a five-back West Ham, and they've got Lanzini and Arnautovic up front, and their stats have been, especially Arnautovic's stats, they've been mad since he's... Come in. Oh, well, Mo- since Moyes has come yeah. in. And to be fair, he's always had the talent, it's just the temperament yeah. that he can keep. That was very inconsistent as well. Yeah, inconsistent. Not against United, though. We'll see if managed to find a goal against us. Yeah. Last game was 3-3. Three, three. It's on the table. How many? How many? So you were you reading the stats earlier? How how many goals has Arnautovic been? I'm sorry. How many goals has Arnautovic been involved in? Well, <laughs> I can have you know that he's been involved in nine directly involved in nine goals with six goals and three assists in his last seven games. That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Look at Eddie Howe with his hundredth Premier League match as a manager. 14, he's the third youngest English manager to do so. Dead Owen, Gareth, Southgate. Southgate. 
<laughs> top quality managers there. <laughs> Both former, well, one's currently an England manager, one's a former mm. England manager. Maybe that's the way forward for Eddie Howe. Well, they've played each other five times. Uh, <laughs> two wins for West Ham and two wins for Bournemouth. And the draw. In their last game. There's goals. There's always goals. Look, apart from that, apart from the, that one game, there's, a, there's at, at least, least in four goals. Yeah. yeah, I'm going for a West Ham win. I think Arnautovic is suited to this uh, striker role. I think he's going to score. So identical form, though. As well. Might as well get him in the FPL. He's six four. He's pacey. He's mm. Got a good strike on him. Get him in the fantasy. Get him in the fantasy. Can't knock it. Final game of Saturday. Uh, Man City. At the Etihad or the Etihad, City five Newcastle nil next. Is that it's done? No, I think I think they might come unstuck. Really? I think I think mad. Someone's <laughs> gassed about the twelve points and is he's out here predicting future results. No, man, I've captain the Guerrero, man. I think they're gonna kill him. I think they've got to. I, I, I feel sorry for Newcastle. It is either a nil. It's n- no way a Newcastle win this game. Right? No, it's either a nil nil or it's. It's, it's horrible. I think City are killing them. Yeah. They've got to bounce back. They've yeah, got especially to show after the loss. A whole loss. And I don't think Pep's the sort of manager who will be looking complacency. No. Straight back on it. I think early goals. Goals. Like you know, two in the first ten. They'll put this to bed early. I, I, I fear for Newcastle. I really, really do. So if any Newcastle fans are watching... Brian. Yeah, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Who's Brian? Victory Jordan. His name's Brian. <laughs> Fucking hell. Shout them out again. This guy <laughs> needs to get to feature us, man. Fuck you know. Yeah, look, I'd look away. Ten likes. Because it's gonna get it's gonna get horrific. Yeah. Do you think Newcastle will score to Nesta automatically clean shoot? Definitely, because I just brought Edison in, so he oh, is it? definitely scored. Oh, my. You've taken Larissa. <laughs> I've had to take Hugo out and get sweeper keeper Edison, man. No. Midfielder turn because uh, he can get assist as well, Edison, man. He's a basis on the mid, isn't it? This is a six. A City win, I, think, I, yeah. I can't see anything else. And then, well, Super Sunday, normally we get two, vi- two fixtures, but we've only got the one. Uh, Southampton Spurs, four o'clock. Um, Spurs just outside the top four, three points off. Um, Southampton not in the greatest form. Rob three points off who? Chelsea <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Southampton in <laughs> See, poor form. It's not no, nice. It's not nice. No, Southampton in poor form, just sitting above the relegation zone, one point safe, and unfortunately robbed of a a win, as I said from Decore's um, humble. Even though they are at home, the reverse fixture only last month. Big 5-2. 5-2. Did Spurs get an early pen in that game? Um, for fuck... Just I'm, say yeah, yes. Yeah, just say yeah, yes. Did. But if they didn't, leave it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where we can improve. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. I, yeah. Ah, a big 22nd minute goal. Madness. Harry Kane getting a hat trick. I think that was... Um, that's where he set... Uh, Becoming the top goal scorer of the year. Yeah. So even though it's not at Wembley, I think uh, Southampton are still going to struggle. And I back back Hazard. It's weird to see him, man. Weird to see him so low. Big Southampton, you know. It's got to be yeah. Tottenham win, and they uh, put the pressure on Chelsea. Well, if Chelsea have won at twelve thirty on Saturday. The pressure will be on Tottenham. And actually, can they handle it? And I think yes. <laughs> you're just letting me... You're not saying anything, man. You're just leaving me out to dry. Because I've come and cocked it up, so why am I going to say anything else? Right. I'm trying to come with big stats. And they're wrong. <laughs> I'm not here reading from a phone. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm just reading the Memory. List. Memory. That's all I've got. Your list. Fuck you now, man. And to end the preview... Fuck the preview. Madness. <laughs> Swansea, we're heading to Wales versus Liverpool. Well, big salad missed training today, um, but Klopp said that he he he's he should be fit for. They need the trio, man. They need the trio for on form, man. Monday night football. Swansea yeah. bottom. That gap. It's now four, four from safety. I don't see Liverpool. 
It would be a very Liverpool thing to do, though. Yeah, it to would. To beat first and then lose the 20th. But some say, some say it's a different Liverpool. Four straight wins. Yeah. All the way up into third place. They're three points off second. Only two losses. They've kind of changed the run. Their performances against the bigger teams this season hasn't been... Because yeah. they normally win a lot of the games against the top six. But not against United. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, bottle it against the lower teams, whereas they've kind of changed. They're getting decent results against the top six, obviously, last week. And actually winning against the bottom teams, which is why they're in third. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hasn't it all been plain sailing? But four wins in your last five unbeaten. Yeah, they, they've they've turned the corner. They've turned. They really have turned the corner. I mean, since the game, game week nine, wins wins galore and uh, and four draws um, in between. Terrible. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. It's terrible. But undefeated since game week ten. I don't think you can knock it. They're not. They're below United still, but I don't think you can knock them. Liverpool win. End this shit, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it, blame the Prem fixtures. There's nothing to get behind this week again. What's next week? FA Cup weekend. Serious. I'm here talking about Yeovil Town. Yeah. Um. But. <sighs> Then after that, we've got midweek fixtures, so expect a lot coming from the back too. <laughs> what a huge, huge, huge Steph. Don't forget, 10 likes, yeah? And you'll see this guy's shrimp. That's all I'm going to say. You can sign up. Since you want to call me out. See you later from the back too. <laughs> wow.